Hey guys and welcome back to my channel or if you are new welcome my name is Hannah and today's video is gonna be like a super casual one I don't have makeup on I didn't do my hair I'm in a comfy t-shirt um, but that's because I'm going on vacation in a couple of hours and everything else is packed um, but I have a central line and I have IV medications that I have to fly with and this is my third time flying since I've um, you know had a central line um and i kind of wanted to go over some tips and tricks because my first time flying i was freaking out and i've learned a couple things since then um so yeah anyways let's get started so before i get into the actual like what i'm packing and how i'm packing it portion i'm gonna go over a couple things on like how i get through tsa easy um things like that so the first thing is get to the airport super early earlier than what you usually would like i'd say maybe probably an hour earlier than what you normally would just because um, when you are carrying liquids, you do have to go through some extra screening. Um, so actually, there's a program called TSA Cares. I've used it once and I um, also didn't use it one time. And honestly, like if it's your first time, I recommend doing it. You have to call, I believe, 72 hours before your flight. Um, and a TSA agent will meet you um, outside the TSA checkpoint and they'll kind of walk you through it and they'll screen um, all your liquids separately. Um, however, it does kind of take a little bit longer. It, um, again, like I really recommend it if it's your first time. And that time that I used it, I was on TPN, so I was carrying a lot more um, stuff, if that makes sense. I don't know if this even makes sense. Um, but basically, that's an option. Um, my second time when I didn't, it was just super simple. I just walked through like everybody else did and they just pulled my bag off the x-ray and screened it. Okay, so basically if you are not using TSA Cares and you're just going to go through like everybody else, I highly, highly, highly recommend bringing some sort of letter. This, I don't want to show it because it has like my personal information on it. But basically, you can either get a letter from your doctor or I carry the invoice from my deliveries each week. And it states everything that you're carrying. I also recommend this because it literally, again, says everything that you need. And that way you won't forget anything when you're packing since it has a list. Um, so, yeah. But I personally will notify every TSA agent I come across that, hey, I'm carrying a lot of liquid. Like, just a heads up. So, um, yeah. I'm so awkward at this. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> Another thing is um, airlines cannot charge you for carrying a carry-on full of medical supplies. And yes, you really, really, really should carry it in a carry-on because if they lose that checked bag, like that's all of your medication, supplies, whatever. So carry it in a carry-on. I'm gonna show you in a little bit how I pack it and like what I pack, um, but it can just go right in the overhead bin. If you are carrying refrigerated items, or items that have to be refrigerated, I should say. Um, I do have another video. Um, I'll try and link it. I think it's in one of these corners. Um, basically, it was my first time flying, so I didn't really know what to expect, but I kind of showed like how I packed my TPN because it did have to stay cold. Um, I recommend using the styrofoam coolers that your uh, home health company should send you. That's how mine get sent, at least. And the ice packs. Um, basically, like again with like the liquids you just have to really like research um i'm sorry i'm not giving the most helpful information like oh uh, i'm really trying guys but um yeah i will link that video so you can see how i packed and kept my tpn cold um so yeah okay my last tip before i get into like the actual packing part is wear something that shows your central line which sounds like I don't like showing mine off personally however I have gone through where like you can't even tell that I have a central line I tuck it into my bra when I'm not using it usually when I'm out and about and they kind of freaked out a little bit um, like I went through the body scanner and I had to have like a whole pat down and everything so I just recommend like wear something like v-neck or whatever if you have a pick line, don't wear a cover, um, wear short sleeves, just so when you go through the body scanner and they see it and you step out, they can physically see it on you, if that makes sense. So like, it's like not hidden. Again, I'm sorry, this is not making that much sense. Um, 
but yeah it'll just make your life a lot easier and um yeah that way it doesn't look like you're hiding anything <laughs> okay so now i'm going to go show you how i'm gonna pack everything and what i'm gonna bring um so yeah okay so the first thing i'm gonna bring i'm not actually packing in this suitcase is my backpack this will be my personal item but it's also what i use to um, run my fluids in like when i'm on the go so this is just a vera bradley backpack and then i have like a little tubey clip at the top that can hang um, a bag of fluids so this will have some other things in it again i'm just showing you what i'm bringing medical supplies wise because i have a lot of clothes and stuff but um none of that relates to this so yeah that's the first thing so make sure everything that has well everything that's medication or prescribed to you has labels on it with your name um so without showing you too much information my fluids have um like a prescription label on them and so do my flushes so just make sure that those and that you're bringing all of your medications in their original bottles just in case they question you you can pull your id out and they can compare so i'm going to put my fluids in first since those are the heaviest and i'm only going to be gone for a couple days so i'm going to bring some extra things but um like for fluids i'm not going to just because i don't want to have to bring a bunch of stuff back home so let me go ahead and get the fluids in my bag and then i will come back okay so fluids and flushes are in my bag I try and pack the heaviest things towards the bottom so that way the bag isn't top heavy. Um, but again, my flushes also have a prescription label on the front. I'm just not showing it because it has my personal information on it. Um, so yeah. The next thing I'm going to put in my bag are batteries. Um, they just go with my pump and along with that I'm going to put my actual pump in. Then I'm going to put all of my medications that I take on a daily basis in. So I threw my tubing in the front, well I guess like the top mesh pocket. Next I'm going to throw in some dressing change kits. I'm going to bring five of these um, just uh, to have a couple extra and I'm bringing different types of like actual dressings just in case my skin reacts. Next I'm going to put in this giant tegaderm. I use this to shower or if I decide to go to like the beach or something just to protect my line. It doesn't always keep it 100% dry but it definitely is better than just having your line out so I'm just going to throw that right there. The next thing I'm putting in are some microclaves. Um, I have a bunch extra. I don't even know if I'll have to change mine but sometimes my tubing does get stuck on the end. Um, I'm out of breath, sorry. So um, it's good to have just a couple extra. Then I have, I don't even know what to call these. Um, basically, if you decide to stop running your uh, fluids and need to put a cap on the end of it so it doesn't get all gross and dirty and not sterile, uh, you can use these. Again, I don't even know if I'm going to use them, but I just want to have them, so I'm going to put that also in the uh, mesh zipper pocket. The next thing are swab caps. These go on the end of the microclave when you're done running fluids. Um, they have, I think, alcohol or some sort of like surgical disinfectant in them to keep your line clean. Um, so those are going to go in the mesh zippered pocket as well. Okay, next I have a ton of alcohol swabs. I don't need this money. Um, I think there's 200 in this box. However, you can never have enough, so I'm just going to put this whole box in there. Okay, and then I have this hand sanitizer that literally is just straight up alcohol. Um, that I'm going to throw in here as well. I mean, it's best to wash your hands, but if you're in a pinch and can't, this stuff works really good. Okay, and I'm pretty sure that's everything I need in this bag. There are a couple more things that I am going to put in my personal item that I probably would need, if that makes sense. So the first thing I have is a puke bag. Um, I know airplanes have them, but just in case, I would prefer to have this instead of puke all over myself. Um, lately, because I am on blood thinners, I've been having crazy bloody noses. Uh, my doctor gave me these. They're, uh, they're called wound seal. Basically, you just stick it up your nose and it stops it from bleeding, which is great because I cannot get them to stop lately. And then lastly, I'm going to throw in a couple of these drip drop packets. I really, really, really like these because it's so hard to find, like Gatorade or anything, 
once you're um, past security. And this way, all you need is a bottle of water and you can make your own and it's a lot better for you. <laughs> Sorry, I'm out of breath. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much what I'm packing. I'll let you know if I forget anything, um, but I don't think I am. Also, I do throw in that sheet of paper with everything listed with my um, boarding pass and my ID just to have um, handy in case anybody has questions. All right, guys, so that is it for this video. I am completely out of breath and pretty much dead because I've been running all over the place trying to find everything I need. Again, if I forgot something and I think of it later, I'm gonna put like a screen or something up with um, what I packed because I don't know if I'm forgetting anything right now. Also, if you have any suggestions or if you've flown with IV um, meds or whatever, leave me like your tips and suggestions down below because I'd love to you know get some new ones um but by the time you see this i'm probably gonna be already back from my trip um so if you want to see where i'm going follow me on instagram i'll put the handle right here and it's always in my description box um but anyways thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys in my next video